What up, else, your man, Arbo American? So I was sent, like, what is it called? Uh, an Instagram status by a brother that a sister had posted. And uh, the sister was basically saying that men are the protectors and maintainers of women. And that because of that, men are not superior to women, but they are below women because the one protects and the other is protected. And so one has higher value because they're protected, AKA meaning like the, the security guard and the movie star, basically. The security guard is technically lower status than the movie star because he's protecting that which is valuable. So she's trying to say in her goofy logic that men have a lower value because they're protecting and maintaining that which has a higher value because that which has higher value is protected. It's all well and good, you know, but it's incorrect. You see, men are the protectors and maintainers of women, but they are also responsible, accountable, and have authority over women. So in this sense, the proper comparison would be a king and how he protects his subjects, a government and how they protect their citizens. You see what I mean? One is powerful, the other is not. So men, because we have authority, now she'd be correct if men didn't have authority in Islam, but we understand uh, waliship, that there, you know, obviously I'm mixing two words here, but there's the status of the wali. And when a woman is in her parents' house, her father or her brothers are the wali over her. They are the guardian over her. And they dictate, no, you can't go out at night. Yes, you can't go out at night. No, you can't do this. Yes, you can't do that. They set the rules based upon Islam on what a woman can and can't do. Just like they do for everybody in the house. But it applies to the men also. But women more so. No, you can't marry that bum. No, you can't marry Mr. Hot Stuff, but he ain't no good for you. Fathers have that authority. And when that authority, when she gets married, that authority is passed over to who? Her husband. So now she goes from one position of ruled over to another position of ruled over. And I don't care if sisters don't like that language, that's exactly how it is. You have constantly an authority over you. That authority, your husband or your father, he is the one that protects and maintains you in the same way that a king protects and maintains his people. So guys, don't fall for this goofy logic stuff. You know, sisters throw this goofy junk out there. They don't make any sense. You know, hey, I mean, from a logical standpoint, it makes sense. But really, uh, practically, when you look at it from an Islamic standpoint, mm -mm. and this is the problem with sisters out here, you know, uh, adopting and absorbing these feminist ideas and concepts that have no place in Islam. That type of, see, this is the type of logic and reason that has no place in Islam. Where are you getting this stuff from, sisters? Stop saying goofy stuff like that because it doesn't, it doesn't add up. It's not correct. And therefore, it can't make sense. Anyway, this is your man, Abu American. Come at me in the comment section. <laughs> I'm out, guys.